So what we've got here is a typical example of a chair that's badly cracked. Uh, if you haven't got a uh, spray equipment, well here's the next best thing that we're going to show you today. Uh, it's called the Wipe-On Restoration System. So Pete's going to demonstrate that. And uh, what we'll do is we'll cut away now and show you right up close. Because this is very As Paul was saying before with the uh, Wipe-On uh, product, it's usually uh, for the areas that are on the wee areas as we talk about here. So if you look at the rest of this particular suite in terms of the, the side panels and the back panels, although they definitely in need of a bit of cleaning, uh, you really wouldn't need to touch those. So you can actually bring everything up back to that continuity of look as far as the, uh, the cracks and everything concerned by giving a, going through the, the uh, process, which we are, we're firstly going to be cleaning it, so we're taking the soiling away so we're not forcing it into the leather. Uh, then we'll be stripping it uh, back with the uh, um, the process that we call as follows the spirits, and that'll take all that old sealing, as I said. Then is uh, then wiping on the colour to reseal it, and that'll have all the physicals you need to basically bring all that back into some sort of continuity like that, so the whole thing is back. You still see aesthetically, you still see you know the the grain areas and the creases and everything, but in terms of um, the aesthetic value, what it will look like, its feel. It'll be 100% and you'll be very, very pleased with it. So basically what we're focusing on uh, really with the wipe-on system is mainly the traffic, just the just traffic, areas, traffic areas, here the which is your, basically your arms and your seat cushion and, and maybe part of your inside back. Yep. Alright, well what I'll do is we'll cut away now and I'll bring the camera up close so we can have a, have a good look at what's, what's happening. Okay, I'll just pan around and show you what we've, what we've got here. That's the seat cushion. You can see that it's full of cracks. Just give you another look at that. And here's the left hand arm. So as you can see it's quite discoloured and uh, looking quite quite worn and tired. And here's the other arm. So that's what we're going to be working on and uh, transform, transforming that back to its former glory. Okay, so the chair's all, all dried out now. So the next step is um, using the method of spirits to, to prep the leather. Exactly. This was a real filthy manky old one. As we said, we've, we've gone out of our way to get a real old clunger in the state of it. Yeah, anyway, we took so right. much dirt out of it. Uh, and that's because I'm a sensitive new age guy, obviously. I've decided to wear some gloves because I'll be right. using meths. Um, and you can use the straight meths that's slightly has a blue tinge to it, which it doesn't hurt at all. You use the brush, I'm going to use the um, scotch pad, which is provided um, with the kit. And you, you take them through that, won't you, Paul? Yep. That. All, all that, again, is explained in the manual. Uh, what we're basically doing uh, here is, is removing that seal coat that's on there. Because remember, um, as we've, we've already talked about in the workshop manual, that seal coat uh, uh, often has waxes and, um, and silicon in the top finish and what we want to do is take all that out so that uh, when we put the colour on it sticks, sticks to it really well. So what Pete's doing there now is he's, he's um, scouring into the, uh, into the seal coat and while it's still wet um, he wipes it off with a, a clean, clean cloth. Now the idea with the, the cloth is um, just don't keep using the same cloth all the time, just keep either changing a rag or, or finding a clean spot because you don't want to, to keep pushing it. Now actually we'll get a shot of that. You can see the pigment it's gone right You can see the pigment all coming off there now. It means we've gone right through the seal coat and the pigment now is uh, is being eaten into which is exactly what we want. Yep, that's, I'll get another shot of that. Here we go, you can tell you're biting into it now. It's uh, that that's the colour coming out so we know we know we've gone down far enough. Of course the areas to really uh, pay attention to are the arms where your hands have been touching uh, and, and the seat cushions because they of course uh, pick up sweat and grime from your skin and uh, um, and often go, you know, like it, it soaks right into the legs. No, they wouldn't. You'd have to be prepared to turn around and finish it. Yes. So we've really bitten right down in there. That's opened up all the surface, released the surface tension, broken into all that old sealer coat it's right down into the pigment as we can see here now. So there's no integrity in that at all. That, that'll just all fall off now, effectively. So that's the next thing. And what we're obviously going to do now, again, I've done it on the arm. We're going to do that whole 
area right through the whole thing. Doing the exact same and uh, you know, as I say, if you just do one panel, panel okay, so the chair has been uh, has been prepped down. And uh, so, what's next, Pete? Okay, so what we've got now is we've got the colour that we would have at this stage prepared for you, and colour max to um, had it all prepared. Or if you've got to that stage where you are a good colour match, you're well, all well and good. But here we are. This one here is being done. And what we're going to do is actually just wipe this over. And the first one. First coat, you're not going to have to be too worried about, okay? Just keep a nice wee liberal thin coat and wipe it over. Don't work it too much. Um, once it goes on, just work it into the surface and then just leave it so that we're actually going to get a seal um, and we're going to build up the colour density with the product as we go along. So you're not going to get this sudden um, change of colour, you know, the density right up and it looks really good first coat. You're going to build the coat slowly on it because the uh, pigment ratio in this in this particular product is a lot lower than the uh, the spray coat. So, but this is a, a, a um, an alternative for somebody who hasn't got any spray equipment. So, it's um, the next the, best um, thing, as it were. A few uh, another way of also where there are um, lifts and cracks and things like that is to use a very fine wet and dry sandpaper. In fact, we will show you actually how to do that on one arm. Show you how. It just enhances the preparation if you want to smooth out in those little tags on the surface. So I'm tackling, as Paul said before, just one area at a time. In this case, we're going to do the arm. Yeah, the arm's looking pretty good now in comparison to what it was yeah. like before. Yeah, that comes up. It's, that's, uh, that's really bad. It's really bad. Okay, so there's one coat that's gone on. That's how simple it was. And obviously, to uh, um, without compromising at all, you can actually apply a bit of light heat to it, which we do just with a hair dryer. And thank goodness Paul brings his hair dryer to work every day. So he so can use it. <laughs> left in the lurch. He doesn't have a hair dryer, so he has to buy mine. Already you can actually see a significant difference in the colour density building up. And the polyurethanes and resins doing their job bonding it uh, all into the surface building a really good layer there's some photos sent to us by a, a 75 year old grandmother and um, she had a, 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 a in fact her lounge was very similar colour to this one it certainly was not and exactly yes yeah, she got a uh, she got some of the the wipe on restoration system and uh, she was so delighted with it she sent us photos and, and i think they're on the website there somewhere they certainly are uh, before and after shot so you know which is yes, so, so thick and you want to work it into those areas so i'll leave the contrast here just yeah. across here and through the middle here and we'll just do that section of that cushion again which was completely prepared properly before won't work it much Okay, so here we are in the final stages here. As you can see, it's a major difference from what we had when we started. Just a little hint um, where there are areas uh, that you still can wipe them out as you go. Again, work your way through here. So we're up to about coat three here. I'm just doing some of those um, little areas that needed a, wee, a slight touch up and then we'll just rub another coat over. But I mean even, look, even now more than, um, more than acceptable. And if you find an old rounded armed antique piece that again looks like it's only good for the dump, have a go at it. You suddenly get a really nice retro piece of furniture that's really worth keeping. So now the idea now is to let it dry, let it dry yes. maybe for a day or so. Yep. And uh, the final thing to do is um, put the um, palo protector over the top of that, and that will actually add the uh, added added um, protection of um, you know, and also improve the wear, wear, wearability of it as well. So. That's right. So you condition the protector; it just does exactly what it says. You're going to condition the leather, 